How's it going guys? So just a quick news update for Spider-Man Far From Home. Okay, so we've got this new look at Mysterio, which comes in the form of what looks like a cardboard cutout, but it's the clearest look we've had at Jake Gyllenhaal's Mysterio look in this movie so far. As I know, we all got a little clip of Mysterio fully fishbowled up at the end of the Spider-Man Far From Home trailer, but we never really got this clear of a look at what the whole shebang is gonna look like. It was very much from the back. So here we have it and I have to say Mysterio is the reason why I am more excited for Spider-Man Far From Home than any other film this year except maybe Toy Story 4. And that doesn't mean that I'm not looking forward to Avengers Endgame and the Joker movie, it's just that this for me is a childhood dream come true to see Mysterio and I didn't think they would be quite so faithful with his appearance because to be honest Marvel Studios have had no real obligation to, they've taken creative liberties with certain character designs before and I thought Mysterio would be top of the list for designs for them to take creative liberties with because it's a tricky one to get right, however they have gone full force with making this a comic book accurate Mysterio with very few design liberties taken and I couldn't be happier to see that. This is one of the most thrilling things for me to see because since childhood, since knowing what a Spider-Man is basically, like uh, as a kid and stuff I was obsessed with Spider-Man 2 with Tobey Maguire and uh, my dad bought me these book volumes of like essential Spider-Man and stuff and I was just reading through them and the early Ditko stuff and I saw Mysterio and I was like that's my favorite villain that's the coolest thing I've ever seen and I know he's only like an illusionist he hasn't got any actual powers or anything but I didn't care that was it was awesome to me like the idea of this like sort of failed filmmaker going on to take on a life of crime and sticking a fishbowl on his head with possibly one of the most corny designs in comic books and they've really brought it to life here it really is like as hammy as the classic Mysterio but with that sort of Hollywood sort of touch to it and everything. The fishbowl was the most important thing for me. It needed the fishbowl. However, I wasn't expecting him to go quite so comic book accurate with it. And I understand that not all of it is exactly one-to-one -one with the comics. I mean, like, he didn't have this golden armor on his chest and legs and stuff like that in the comic books. But it's it's a very small design liberty to take, all things considered. It, it looks great. It looks fantastic. And the way it's all illuminated in blue and everything, it just looks superb. From the way the cape flows to the buckles on the cape to the the green hexagons to the gauntlets and the cherry on top is of course the fishbowl which has been realized wonderfully it's the perfect shape they've taken so much care to just make this the classic Mysterio and I think that's perfect it, they've, they've done really nicely and like been really faithful to the classic designs when it's come to the Marvel Cinematic Universe Spider-Man from the John Romita look of the Spider-Man homecoming suit to the Steve Ditko look of the far from home suit to Mysterio to Vulture I think the only one they took any creative liberties with was Shocker but at the end of the day Shocker was more of a Moog sort of character in this series so it makes sense and there were of course some homages to Shocker's original look and I'm really intrigued to see how Mysterio's story goes my understanding is that he's an ally to Spider-Man in this film which is very different to what he's been in the comics where he's been much more of a villain and he's done some terrible things including like convincing Wolverine to kill the entire X-Men with his illusions and everything. There's a lot of speculation as to how this is going to go like the elementals that Spider-Man will be fighting against for example a lot of people are speculating that they will be an illusion created by Mysterio to convince the world that he is a superhero like he's just a you know a film guy capitalizing on the whole superhero boom that's going on and everything and I think that's very meta and uh, kind of reminds me of the DC universe a little bit in the recent times and everything but I think that would be a really cool road, uh, road to take it down. Of course to be honest I don't truly mind Mysterio being interpreted as an ally in this case. I kind of like uh, I, I don't mind the idea so long as they maintain the fact that he's an illusionist so long as they maintain you know the sort of trippy potential that this character comes with and his design which they have stuck to to the letter which I'm so thrilled with I can't stress enough how happy I am with this design they clearly got a lot of love for old webhead and now we also have a new look at some of the Funko Pops that are available uh, coinciding with the release of Spider-Man Far From Home. We have of course seen the classic Spider-Man suits and everything but here we have a look at two of the Elementals and Mysterio's Funko Pop figure which all just look great. Um, so the Elementals do have the names of Hydro Man and Molten Man so they are going with that as opposed to just making them Elementals and everything and uh, I gotta say they look really cool like I'm interested to really get a good look at these guys 
guys this is probably the best look we have yet um because the trailer doesn't really show them so much as it shows like the effects of them but uh, hydro man looks fantastic and the idea of him throwing down with spider-man in venice is simply genius molten man looks great and of course mysterio looks really great i'm definitely going to be picking up a mysterio funko pop um and they also have him in key ring form but i just i love all the little smoke around him the little diamonds he's got on his cape the little illuminati triangle eyes that he's like sort of throwing out there and they've got this look of fog inside the fishbowl and that was of course the question was like is the fishbowl going to be sort of transparent or not i don't know i mean like the thing is it has proven a bit of a reassurance looking at the merch and looking at this recent image uh because my one concern now is that he'll probably have the fishbowl but not wear it that much throughout the film uh i mean like it wouldn't be the first time they've done something like that i mean look at star lord's helmet in the guardians of the galaxy movies he only puts that on for special occasions pretty much but i am hoping that mysterio will wear the fishbowl for a good duration of the film and if you know if the merchandise is any indication that could be the case but who knows i mean like there's a lot of mystery surrounding this film we don't know really which way it's gonna go to be honest at the moment and that's actually quite a good thing it's a very original spider-man film far from home like it's something we've never done before is have spider-man traveling to the greater world outside of manhattan i mean he, he did do that a little bit with washington dc and spider-man homecoming but we've never gone quite to this extent and i think this is going to be great because spider-man homecoming was a very sort of a small spider-man movie there weren't massive action sequences it was much more about spidey's investigation uh whereas this film looks like it's going to take things to a new level of like action and everything which i think is something that homecoming didn't have quite so much of so i'm really looking forward to seeing how these fight scenes go down with molten man hydra man and hopefully mysterio so what do you guys think of the new reviewers and everything comment below and discuss and as always if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more like it don't forget to subscribe hit the like button and if you've done that already, what a trooper you are. I will catch you next time. Have a great day.